Students, let's look at another example of how we can use sentence variety. Here is a sample paragraph written by one of my students. And if you notice in this paragraph, the word she is used one, two, three, four times here. So at least it begins, the word she begins at least three of her sentences. And if you want to be a good student of the English language, what I am recommending is that you stagger or you change, another word for stagger is change. You change the way, you change it up. You mix up how you're going to begin your sentences. And one way you can do that, if you look over here, we have some suggestions. We can use proper nouns. We can use pronouns. We can use description. Now, there are many other ways we can do it, but we're, gonna, we're going to focus on these three ways in particular. So we're going to, instead of using a pronoun here, we're going to replace this pronoun with Miss Dahlia Williams. That's the name of the character in the story. Well, we don't even have to add Dahlia. Let's leave off the miss. Dahlia Williams was a hardworking woman who just could not be knocked down no matter what. Okay, we're not editing it. We're leaving it just as it was written. Though, instead of putting she here, though this dedicated woman, we're going to put it, this be described as dedicated, though this dedicated woman was going through a tough time in her relationship, she still found a way to put a smile on her face and stay positive. We're going to leave the she, that's the pronoun, we're going to leave that. because we said that that was one of the ways we can stagger how we begin our sentences in our paragraph. She never let her problems, problems at home affect her work life. Okay, Dahlia, rather than keep Dahlia, I can say Mrs. Sykes Williams. That would have been that's she's married, so I'm gonna I'm going to say Mrs. Mrs. Sykes Williams was someone that's Sykes is the name of her husband, so we're going to refer to her as um, using her husband's name. Mrs. Sykes Williams was someone who you someone you could depend on. Whenever you needed her, she was always there for her. And then finally, for the last pronoun, she, rather than say she, this amazing, long-suffering woman has never let me down and has always had my back. So you notice here, we use different ways to change the way the sentence began. And by doing that, we had sentence variety. Thanks for watching.